this session, we're going to create a pivot table and then we're going to use that pivot table to create a calculated field. Now, step one is I'm in the insert tab here on the ribbon and looking at the table tool. Now, it's not strictly necessary to turn your data into a table before you do a pivot table, but you do gain some advantages from this if you do particularly if you want to add some new data over time, you can paste your new data in at the bottom. It will automatically recognize it as part of the table, and then you simply click the refresh button in your pivot table. So this makes uh, maintenance a lot easier. So we'll start with this. So I've clicked on table. I've got the marching ants around my data, and I'm going to click OK. And this, of course, has turned my data into a table, which I can recognize from the ultimate row shading. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is go back to the Insert tab. The Pivot Table button here is a double level. It's a split level button. The bottom level gives you choices. The top level just does the default. So I'm going to click the top level. And again, I'm going to go OK. And I now have the beginnings of a pivot table. Now I'm just going to move this panel up a little bit. Normally the panel is off to the far right, uh, docked on the far right of your screen. But just for ease of recording this movie, I've got it free floating. Just makes it a little bit easier to work with. We've got our little grid area here, which is the key part of it, where we're going to position our column and row labels, the values we actually want counted or added up. And we have, of course, our ribbon across to the top. And a lot of very useful tools that are just off to the right of the screen. We'll visit those very shortly. So I want to use salesperson as a column label. You can see this uh, being built behind the scenes there. I'm going to take sale price and make that a value. And I'm going to take product and make that a row label. So we can now see, and again I'll just move the panel, we can now see we've got a nice little report that uh, summarises for us by salesperson by product. One thing that I'll do while we're here is we might like to see some dollar signs, some currency formatting, so I can click on my values, uh, and I want to go to my value field settings just off screen. So what I'm going to do is move up, go to values, value field settings, which then gives me some choices. I can click the number format and I'll just go with currency just to keep this nice and easy. And OK. Now. The next thing we want to do is an actual calculation where we're going to work out the uh, sales tax uh, or the GST or any, any basic tax calculation you might want to do. So I'm going to move the field list out of the way. You'll notice I've just clicked up on A3, which is uh, sum of sale price. So that's important. It, it, the pivot table needs to know it's the sales price we want to work with. Now, having done that, I'm going to pan off to the right here just a little. Now, in, uh, in Excel 2007, this button that I'm looking at here is actually a formulas uh, button, but what we're looking at here is fields, items and sets. If I click on that, you'll notice calculated field. If I click on calculated field, now in Australia, we've got the GST. So our tax are going to call that the GST. And I'll just grab out the equals. So what we're going to say is this is equal to the sales price. And then clicking on insert field. Now you could type that in, but you'll notice how it did the nice... Uh, uh, apostrophes there for us because there's a space in the column name. Now I'm going to divide that by 11, which is a, 
a basic way of just working out the GST, but you could multiply by 20% or do whatever calculation you needed to do here. It's also worth knowing that, for example, if we had quantity and unit price fields from our original data, we could multiply them together to get an order total out of the quantity and the unit price. Now I'm going to add and OK, and I now have an extra column here, uh, as you can see, that says uh, sum of GST. And I'll just pan back over to the left. This is becoming quite a, a wide report. And clicking inside my pivot table, I get my field list back. Now, uh, I can just customize this a little bit. By clicking on the field, I'll go to my value field settings, and I might change the heading here just to say GST. So you could change these headings to pretty much be anything you want in your report. Ah, can't do that because it's the name of the calculation, but what I can do is make it GST paid. And OK. Just did that to see if you were watching. Now, uh, so what we've done there is we've taken some existing data, done a calculation with it, and we can see Excel uh, totaling up the calculated value for, for each particular category in this case for whether something's a Blu-ray player or LCD or whatever it is that we happen to have sold, whatever product range. So that's the end of our first movie. When we uh, expand on this, we're going to do a calculated item. That's the next little, little session where we'll add up the TV sales, LCD and plasma, and we'll add up our peripherals, the Blu-ray player and the surround sound. So we'll effectively make two groupings, where at the moment a grouping doesn't exist. Thank you for your attention.